crispy fried chicken covered with a sweet and spicy gochujang sauce, this Korean fried chicken is full of flavour and incredibly delicious. Welcome to Recipes by Karina, where I share with you how to make classic and simply delicious recipes. Make sure to follow my page or subscribe for a new recipe each week. Start with the chicken. We'll need 500 grams or one pound of skinless, boneless chicken thighs that have been cut into bite-sized pieces. You can use chicken breast here if you would prefer, but I find it can dry out, so thigh is much better. To the chicken, add the soy sauce, garlic and ginger, a pinch of salt and white pepper. Give this all a good mix together, cover and place in the fridge for at least 30 minutes, but this can also be left to overnight. If you'd like the full recipe for this Korean fried chicken, it'll be on my website, as well as the full measurements listed in the description box below. Once the chicken is marinated, remove it from the fridge and add the potato starch. Potato starch works the best here for a really light and crisp coating to the chicken, but if you don't have it on hand, you can substitute with corn flour or corn starch. These are both the same ingredient, just different names in different parts of the world. Give the chicken a good toss through until it's evenly coated and set to the side while we make the sauce. In a small saucepan, add all of the sauce ingredients, the gochujang paste, ketchup, soy sauce, mirin, honey and garlic. If you don't have some of these ingredients, check out my website which has some substitutions. The main ingredient in the sauce is gochujang paste, which is a Korean chili paste made from chili, rice and soybeans. It's not too spicy at all, but it has a really deep delicious flavour that is used in so many different dishes. I found this at my local supermarket, but you can also find it online as well as in Asian grocery stores. Heat the sauce over medium low heat for 5-10 to 10 minutes until thickened. Heat up your oil to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. A thermometer works really well to get it accurate and fry the chicken in batches for about 4-5 to five minutes so the pan isn't overcrowded. For best results and the crispiest chicken, let it cool for a few minutes and fry again for another minute or two. Drain your chicken on a wire rack with a paper towel underneath to absorb the excess oil and leave to cool for a few minutes before transferring to a bowl. Pour the warm gochujang sauce over the fried chicken and toss to coat. Serve the Korean fried chicken sprinkled with sesame seeds. These work so well on their own in bao buns or with rice and Asian greens. I hope you try out this delicious recipe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video.